Hey guys, welcome back in another episode of Living with a Shitbox Alpha Romeo. So today we have to do a little bit of small things, nothing major, uh, just some things here and there. As it is with the old car, you have some small issues, you have to look through certain things because some things are happening and they are uh, not working for some reasons, right? Mostly due to the age. Uh, definitely we have to change oil because uh, the oil that is inside of the engine is after six or seven lap on the Nürburgring so we have to change it even though it's it hasn't reached 10,000 kilometers I'm not gonna risk it we have to take it out and put new oil in and we will be doing also a couple of other things so let's start with the first one and to start with the first one we have to start the car so I can so I can uh, let me close that so I can show you what's happening basically so recently I had an issue when I turned my lights on uh, you could see yeah the burned headlight uh, light right and I was like yeah something's happening but but when I would go to the rear of the car I could see that something in is not burning in here as you see now it disappeared right so this is like what's happening right and then when I would step on the brake uh, the light would come on back so I thought yeah this has to be the one that is responsible for the rear position lights and the brake lights so what we will do is we'll basically change the light bulb or is it the, maybe the connection maybe cable so let's go with that and see what's what we take the cover off this one and we can see this is it so basically uh, we have to we have two clips in here we have to press on them and this whole elements come out comes off then we have to uh, undo the wire and the one on the left seems okay but this one on the le right I can see some black marking on it so probably it's burned and remember uh, that even though you might be working with the burned light bulb never touch <coughs> the light bulb with your bare hands right because it might might shorten its life so yeah so this is the one this is the p21 through 5w uh, type of light bulb because it has like two switches let's say because it is responsible for the uh, stationary light and the brake light when you press the brake so i have another one which i will change but first let me clean a little bit in here so all of the connections i am using uh, 2000 grit paper just to get in there and clean it a little bit and of course if you have like a contact spray uh, which i don't have you can also uh, put it on all of the contact elements so it will uh, make it uh, work a little bit better in here okay then let's put it back like that let's check it before i put everything together let's just put it in this okay we have that and as you can see I am pressing the brake and it's not showing up. Okay, let's put it all back together. The second reason, let's say, that this might be happening, that for example, uh, you can see that none of the light bulbs is, um, let's say, burned and there is no problem in them. Uh, there is the second place where this issue can come from and mainly it is in here, in this wiring. So basically, as you can see, this is an element which moves. As you can see, it works when you open and close the bonnet uh, or the trunk, let's say. Um, so yeah, so very often what you will have is when you will remove that rubber in here, two or three wires were completely torn off and whenever it was moving, right, uh, sometimes it showed that the trunk is open, sometimes it showed that the trunk is closed. So if you would have a problem with that or with the lights, uh, the problem might not only uh, be in the lights and light bulbs itself, it might be in here and this is the most often uh, issue uh, that uh, happens on those cars. I am in here, I will also undo um, the cover on the other side and will simply check and clean 
all of the connections on the other side just because we are here so why not to do it properly and do it on both sides so that we know everything is working okay okay I don't know if you can see that guys but look how much dirt and everything stayed on the sandpaper surprised it was working <laughs> quite well so yeah so it's always good to check it out especially on old cars so let's put it back together perfect nothing is showing up one small issue resol resolved next thing that we want to do is change the air filter and then we will proceed with changing the oil. So it's a quite simple procedure. Basically what you have to do is undo this air pipe, which is held in by two clamps. So you take it out, then you undo the map sensor uh, here. Then you have three screws at the bottom, which I will show you later, and we can take it out. In the meantime, I think I will also, let me just show you. As you can see, this one is extremely rusty, this element, and the bolts on it, are simply stuck i cannot undo them and if i will put too much force i know i will just break them off so what what i want to do is simply cut the nuts off and then clean everything up paint it and uh, put the new nuts off so you can actually take it off and unscrew normally uh, because this one is stuck forever and ever and I cannot use heat because normally I would use quite a lot of heat and this would probably let go but here as you can see it's all surrounded by plastic so I cannot do it because I would melt the plastic in the meantime so it's not a good way let's say to do it this one is off let's go on the screwdriver push it like that this one is off and another one you have all of them out and now let's undo this one here there is quite limited space so you have to use the small socket i changed those uh, clamps because originally they are the ones that you have to let's say press together uh, to put them on or take them off and as you can see there's not much space to do that and get the tool in there so i think this is the mm, let's say easier solution easier to work on Okay. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Okay. So this one is off. Let's break down the vacuum because it's extremely dirty down there, so we don't want that inside. <coughs> Vacuuming is done. So now we have to undo three screws. One is out. It is ready to get out out of here. So basically, you will have to fight a little bit again I will vacuum all of that stuff up let's take it out and see how it looks like yeah so it's dirty so yeah this is crush so this is the new one but first let me vacuum inside of the builder housing let's say so it's cleaner so I will try to work on this rusty element in here to be honest I don't know what really that holds let's say in together what's the purpose of that bracket welcome back guys i love this tool dremel this is an amazing thing it's perfect for such a small jobs like when you have to cut something in a tiny uh, space or whatever so as you can see i was fighting a little bit with it but i was able to cut it in this way next to the bolt when i grab it with with the pliers yeah. As you can see it's moving so I will be able to take it off probably there it is woohoo one is out two more to go and we can take this element off and redo it one eternity later hey guys I think we might be done with the second one there it is this fucker after a while of fighting i've got the third one and now to answer probably 
the questions that or the question that some of you and I am wondering about why the fuck would you spend so much time to do something as little as this to be honest I don't know probably it's because I'm a little bit retarded or I simply like spending time doing shit like this just doing something and yeah making the shit box a little bit better so yeah i hope among the uh, audience there are some of you viewers who do similar things uh, as i do so basically you like to go to the garage and just do some small things just to get your head off everyday worries and problems whatever these two are going to be cleaned and painted welcome back guys as you can see it's the next day morning it's cold as fuck i have put on uh, the nice shirt what we'll do is we'll clean this up then we'll put the primer on and then after i finish work we will yeah so it will just dry up and then we will put the actual paint i think i will paint it silver so it will do like a nice contrast with the black plastic elements so yeah let's go with the cleaning <laughs> That was to be expected guys, that it wouldn't clean as nicely as I wanted it to be since it's just a very old metal so the rust got really deep into the let's say fibers so yeah but still we can repaint it and it will for some time like a two years or something will look much 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 better than the rusty ugly one than it was before Welcome to the professional paint booth. This is where the magic happens. Magic. <coughs> so the new filter is in, guys. Now let's go with the new redone bracket. This is done. We have everything assembled back. So it should work and you can see the silver nice mount. It took quite a lot of work as you saw but yeah it was nice. Let's change the engine oil. I've cleaned the surface so that nothing is dirty because it was quite a lot of dust and everything in here. <sighs> Quite difficult to clean it later on. Okay. 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 Let's clean the oil filter housing. Yeah, so this is the old oil, black as hell, <laughs> as always. So this one only did like six and a half thousand not ten thousand kilometers but as i've said it was on the nerve ring the racetrack is really demanding on oils and other fluids so it's good to change it pre loop the new filter and let's go with the new filter back in okay And as always, just tighten it up by hand. That would be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. We did quite a lot of 
things, small things, more important stuff, less important stuff. I recorded this through like three different days because I didn't have time to do it all together. But yeah, it was still enjoyable. I like really like working on this car and I hope you do enjoy working on your cars. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next episode. If you really enjoyed this one, I would really appreciate if you could uh, subscribe to the channel for the happy ending. Might I go? <laughs> yeah. See you guys. Bye.